The High Command of the Nigerian Armed Forces in the company of the Minister of Defense are heralding the 2015 Armed Forces Remembrance Day by speaking to members of the media. The forum provided an opportunity for members of the media to get an update on the war against insurgency in the northeastern part of the country. However, the Minister of Defense refused to comment on the state of the counterterrorism operations as well as the controversial seizure of cash from Nigerians in South Africa. He however says the Armed Forces Remembrance Day is an opportunity to appreciate the efforts of the Nigerian soldiers who have paid the ultimate price for the nation. The scene appreciating the Nigerian Armed Forces is a special one because it coincides with the Nigeria's greatest security challenges in recent times. It is therefore appropriate to specially appreciate the commitment of our personnel that are paying the supreme price in confronting our security challenges so that we can live in peace. The military leadership also rejected claims that officers who have died in the course of the operations against Boko Haram are being buried discreetly in mass graves in the northeastern part of the country. There were, there were accusations that we buried people in mass graves, which is not true. Uh, but let me leave it to the commander on the ground. The, the deceased received an honorable and full military burial with the attendant military regalia and professionalism and rights. Officers and soldiers who are killed in action, who die or fall in the battlefront, are not taken home for burial. They are buried in the cemeteries closest to the theater of battle. That's the policy of Nigerian army. Since in the army, it didn't start today. The military hierarchy also promised to address the non-payment of pension arrears of retired military officers. The officers recently staged a protest in the nation's capital over the non-payment of their outstanding pensions. Amaka Okafo, Channels Television News.